This video is being brought to you by Freedom Garage. Hey y'all, this is Dan from Freedom Garage and I'm not in the shop today. I'm actually out in my, uh, outside of my greenhouse. I just finishing up this chicken coop. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole video series. Uh, all this stuff, the, the greenhouse, the chicken coop, um, this, this pen area, uh, all was built using uh, recycled, repurposed, reclaimed materials. So uh, my cost on this is almost free given what I've got. So, but today, and this is what this video is, is I'm actually relocating one of my beehives right to outside the chicken coop area, outside the greenhouse, but I'm piping in a little spot where they can go in during the winter so they can pollinate uh, my winter crops and all that. So this is kind of an experiment, but I uh, just wanted you guys to see uh, what's going on here. So here you can see is where my hive is gonna be. I've got some uh, concrete block risers. Again, those concrete block were free. Uh, that uh, bin actually has water all the way around. So it acts like a moat. So ants should not be able to get up in there. I'm gonna have to do something with the pipe. So you can see, I just got done drilling a hole right there. There's gonna be a pipe that's gonna go into uh, the hive. So, and I've inside I've got a little valve so I can actually let the bees come and go, uh, but I can shut them off too. So if we're doing some work in there, um, you know, in, in the morning, I'll shut it off so that uh, the bees don't have access to the greenhouse, especially during the summer, they can be out here. But during the winter, I'm gonna need them to have uh, access to the greenhouse. So I'll be able to control that. But uh, I'm gonna put the pipe through right now and uh, we'll keep going. I'll show you what's going on, how this build is going. So here is the inside of the greenhouse. You can see I've got, again, the greenhouse is insulated. That was all free, just insulated panels I was able to get from a, a tiny home a builder that was throwing away insulated panels. That pipe, again, I think it's a three quarter inch coming in. I just got a valve. I put a little landing spot here to support the pipe and then also allow the bees a place to come and go, but they'll go through that pipe. I'm gonna show you the outside after this, but this is what the inside of, of the greenhouse looks like, where the bees are gonna be coming in. So I also found at a construction site this uh, pipe insulation. So I cut a small piece. And we're gonna put that, a small piece, and we're gonna put that right around the pipe for the bees. Okay, here's where on the outside, outside the greenhouse, where I've got my screen bottom board right here. Again, I've got my free concrete block risers, my little moat that I've created from again, repurposed. Uh, this is an old concrete uh, tub that had some holes in it. So I put the plastic so it would hold water. And again, I got my screen bottom board so I can pull that out, you know, take and clear it out or whatever. Uh, and then I've got this, um, this is just a riser and uh, a hive entrance. I don't know what the, the actual term is, but you put them between your hives to allow the bees to come and go at a higher level. But you can see what I did is I drilled another hole and connected that three quarter inch pipe. This is just a half inch connector. So it actually fits inside that pipe and inside my, my hole that I drilled. And the bees will be able to come and go. They'll be able to go right into the greenhouse there. So this is my one hive bee area. I've got uh, two other hives, but I wanted to put these bees in with the greenhouse so they have some warmth. Uh, again, I'm gonna do another video on this chicken coop build that I'm finishing up. Also the greenhouse, again, water reclamation, uh, water harvesting inside, but thank you all for watching. This how-to video was brought to you by Freedom Garage. Freedom Garage is a charitable ministry that loves on God's people through cars. We specialize in oil changes and basic vehicle maintenance for single moms, widows, seminary students, retirees on fixed incomes, clergy, and missionaries. Our goal is to become a self-sustaining charity through social media by telling stories and creating how-to videos to help others please consider supporting us by subscribing to this YouTube channel and checking out the affiliate links in the video description. You can also follow our Instagram page at freedom underscore garage underscore KY.